Alright, it's episode 82 of Life on Tap, a multimedia experience now from the heart of NYC. Hope everyone's doing really excellently out there. First of all, welcome to all you uh, new viewers and a great big thank you to all you existing viewers out there. Uh, hope everyone out there in the NYC is enjoying uh, Crap Beer Week right now. I had a chance to try a couple places out, uh, uh, some faves, some new places. So far, I'm looking to try a few more. Hopefully, go out to some of my favorite places too. A lot of a lot uh, is to be done this week. Unfortunately, it also coincides with my first midterms and uh, large uh, project check-ins and whatnot. So it's a little unfortunate uh, as far as the availability perspective. Of course, next year I hope to delve fully into everything uh, much more deeply. But like I said, hope everyone out there is uh, enjoying it right now, using their passports. And as a reminder, there's a bunch of deals inside the passport that you can use all year round. You don't have to just use it for just this week. But, you know, I hope everyone has a chance to do that. So, as promised, we're going to continue onward with the uh, Founders uh, series of beers. These are, for the most part, all their um, standard their uh, year-round offerings. So we're moving onward to the Centennial IPA which I also had on tap previously. This is dry hopped. Um, this weighs in uh, slightly less IBUs than the uh, Red's uh, Rye PA. Uh, it's 65 IBUs, uh, but it does weigh a little bit higher at 7.2 ABV. Uh, so let's give this thing a uh, pour here. Now, one of the first things you're gonna see off the bat here is you're gonna see a, a tremendously, um, dramatically more orangey look to it you know like it, it, it kind of I mean it kind of looks like uh, and it's but it's got a tremendous amount of um, bubbles and effervescence got a nice creamy looking head here um, good amount of lace and this is just I mean we got some citrus notes and uh, on the on the other beer and also on a lot of other IPAs this so this is just like that this is Citrus of blazing. I mean, I'm getting everything from. I'm getting everything from like you know, um, just general oranges to clementines. Maybe almost a almost a hint of like uh, uh, some extra sweetness there. So it's it's really appealing on the nose. There's a nice multi sweetness that comes out on, on the back of it too. So it really kind of all comes together. So let's give it some shot. Definitely feeling the abundance of the dry hopping there. There's a lot of um, nice bitterness that comes up right up front. Although honestly, it, it kind of balances out because what it is is as it trails off, the, the malt back kind of goes in, goes back in there, and it uh, reveals a nice, nice. Honestly, I feel balanced uh, and um, almost refreshing finish. It's definitely one you want to, definitely one you want to. You know, you know, sip and sip and sip. Um, it's 7.2. Well, I wouldn't recommend sessioning too many of these in uh, one sitting, but definitely uh, it's worth it. And, and, I, and once again, as with the other bottle I have, I feel that, that comparatively on a freshness perspective with that uh, having on tap, there's a tremendous amount of um, uh, consistency across the board. So that, they, that may, once again makes me happy that the distributor that we got this through uh, is definitely distributing the fresh product out there, and I, and I do really, really have to give props to them there. Uh, well, unfortunately, our time with us, time together, has come to an end for today. I have much work. I have some sleep to do. I've got a lot of work to do tomorrow. So I hope everyone out there can take time out of their busy week and their busy work, just like me, and have a cold one out there, especially during this crap beer week. So want to give a major shout out there to um, the uh, MJZ, um, Mike Z. Uh, he, you may have heard about him on various past episodes, especially the Montreal episode. Um, and we had, a lot of, we had a lot of fun together, and even more so, he's about to have fun together with his soon-to-be missus. Uh, and I want to give major pro props out to him. His, his wedding is coming up later this week, as is Brutopia Fest. So there's a lot of stuff to be uh, celebrating this week this weekend and all year round. So if you want to, get, if you want to reach us out on the web, it's www.lifeontap.net. You can email us at lifeontap at lifeontap.net. 
You can check me out there on the Twitterverse and the Skypeverse. I am NewType2001. And on Facebook, it's facebook.com slash NewType2001. And uh, once again, you know, I'm celebrating this week, even amongst all the work that's out there, and I want you guys to do the same. Get together with your family, your friends, you know, have a great meal, have some nice brews, have some nice uh, wine or spirits as well, if you, if, if you do so are inclined. Because you got to remember, let's tap. Drink up till it's dry. <laughs>